Welcome to Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. I'm Steve Swatt with the Sacramento Report. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about a process of oil extraction called hydraulic fracturing or fracking that's been around since the 1950s but is undergoing new scrutiny here in California and nationally. My guest is Fran Pavley, a member of the State Senate from Agoura Hills. Thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Thank you. And I guess we ought to talk briefly what fracking is and what it entails. Okay. Well, hydraulic fracturing allows um, oil companies and potentially gas companies to, to reserves that they haven't been able to get to. And what it is is uh, large volumes of water interjected into the ground in a well, 95% um, water, about 5% chemicals. Many of them are toxic chemicals listed under Prop 65 and usually some sand. And you inject that into the ground, maybe 10,000 feet deep. You can go vertically or it can expand horizontally for several miles at well. So you can access oil deposits or natural gas deposits that we couldn't access before. Hasn't this been going on for 60 years without incident? Well, interestingly enough, we think it's been going on for a long period of time, or that's, that's what the oil companies tell me, but we have no records. Uh, we have not been keeping records in California. This really is a practice that really hasn't been regulated, and I chair the Water Committee for the state of California, and so I'm very concerned about how much water you use when you hydraulically fracture. It's hundreds of millions of gallons of water per frac job, right? And then we're concerned about after you use this sort of water laced with chemicals, what happens to it? You have to inject it in a storage mm -hmm. container in the ground. Uh, is there potential for problems of contamination of our groundwater basins, let alone surface water? Uh, we don't know because we can't right now in California tell anyone where the wells are being fracked, what kind of chemicals are being used, how we're storing the wastewater, so we want to make sure we do that we protect the health and safety of California. It's interesting to me. There are three bills that are pending in the legislature that would impose a moratorium on fracking, and but your bill, uh, Senate Bill Four, uh, wouldn't go that far. It's really a disclosure measure. Right? It is primarily a disclosure me measure. If there's no problems with fracking, let's prove it to the public. And I've told my friends at the oil company the exact same thing. They say there's no problem, but now since we've They've discovered potentially 15.4 billion barrels of oil. Um, we're seeing massive interest in entities coming in and oil companies purchasing access to mineral rights in several counties around California. It's a growing concern because of potential contamination, air and water contamination. Uh, WISPA, the Western States Petroleum uh, Association, says that we've been, f been fracking for decades, that it's heavily regulated, the oil companies, and that without, and that this has been going on without reported incidents uh, of harm to the environment or public health. Well, in California, um, we have no records. <laughs> if there's been a problem, we need to be more transparent. Mm -hmm. um, now with these new technologies of drilling deeper and the horizontal drilling coupled with the 15.4 billion barrels of oil to come, we have a lot bigger problem. And so it's not as isolated as it used to be. So what my bill does is put in those regulations that give full disclosure and require the DOGGER, the Division of Oil and Gas mm -hmm. uh, Geothermal Recovery, to work collaboratively with our regional water boards and our air districts and our toxic association to make sure that we monitor and protect the public health of Californians. Otherwise, our economy mm -hmm. will suffer. All right. Senator Pavley, thank you very much for coming by and talking about your legislation, which is moving through the Senate. Right. We appreciate it. Thank you. And thanks to our viewers for watching uh, Local Edition on Time Warner Cable. A reminder, you can see this and other interviews on YouTube, also on My Government On Demand. We'll see you next time.